Uh, my name is Woon, uh, V-O-O-N, and then my last name is uh, King, K-I-N-G. I'm from Malaysia. Okay, our housing design, we are architecturally, is very much on a vernacular architecture of a traditional Malay house, where we get the characteristic, like it built on steel, so it's a, it rests two meters up from the floor, so that we can have a wind floor, a close ventilation to the house, and then in a high pitch roof. This high pitch roof, uh, because of the high ceiling inside, it, it will cool the house. And then this pitch roof also will deflect the wind, strong wind when the wind hit the house. Okay, the main feature of the house is we are using this uh, high strength pontoon concrete as a base so that the house can float on the water. This HSPC is invented in Malaysia, so it's still under R&D. So this material, the strength is um, as good as a uh, grade 25 concrete, but then the density is, um, is lower than the water density, so it can float. So it has a floating capacity and abilities. So instead of this one, then we have um, the lightweight truss on the uh, roof structures, so that uh, it won't load the whole house. And then uh, we have um, these uh, emergency blinking lights when during the hazardous event, the disaster happened, so the rescue team can spot the victims easily. When we understand resilience, the resilience is a, is a long process to us. From, a, from a preparation in advance for the hazardous event before it becomes disaster, and then until it, the disaster happened, to the rescue team comes, so it's a long process. So our intention for this project here is we want to um, simplify the whole process down to by using a mobile apps. Yeah, this mobile apps is that when a community when they purchase a house, then we have, we will have their informations. So all this database created then uh, will helps in a will connect the community together. And then um, if any hazardous event happens, then uh, the management of that cloud can inform the um, communities in advance so that they can have early preparations. If the hazardous e event happens, then, uh, then the community can inform the cloud here to send the rescue team to them immediately. So this one will shorten the, uh, the whole process. So when we receive this competition, we just Think of oh, we are doing something that is uh, helping a community. So it gives us a very good opportunity and good uh, learning learning backgrounds. Uh, then we learn a lot from uh, all these uh, different teams. After seeing the other works, then we feel like uh, probably we have some something to further improve on our design.